right, we often talk about the most susceptible groups uh, being the elderly and the sickly for COVID-19. But today I spoke with parents as they were bringing their kids out of school and they told me that some of their kids are extremely high in their risk for COVID-19 and still just as susceptible. Um, eight. Sarah Luckins loves to dance. The dance is probably going to be canceled for a little bit. <laughs> Sarah also has Down syndrome. Well, for Sarah, um, if she gets sick, she gets sick pretty fast and um, it hits her pretty hard. When the Murray School District announced they were closing their doors, Sarah's mom was grateful. Sarah, she had RSV when she was younger and that put her in the hospital for a year. Sent home with a Chromebook. We're just going to do work from school or from home now, huh? For Sarah and her siblings will continue their schoolwork without the risk of exposure. Yeah, I think it's better to be safe than sorry. All stocked up from Costco. The Luckins will wait out COVID-19 from home, waiting for when Sarah can dance with her friends again. I don't think Sarah really understands right now what's happening, but um, if she does get sick, it will, it will be a long, long haul for her. And that is the big reason that Murray School District made that decision to cancel all schools um, throughout the district is because they want to make sure no students are at risk because of exposure to someone with COVID-19. Again, it's just precautionary at this time. There are no confirmed cases in Murray right now. Live in Murray, Aaron Cox, Fox 13 News, Utah.